I'm scared, Todd. I really felt like things would get better. I really went along for that ride and felt like we had enough to sustain us and that we'd be okay. We're able to pay our bills and, you know, all the kids or most of the kids have jobs. We haven't made Danielle get one yet, but... Uh, <laughs> she actually started her own business, <laughs> yeah. so... Um, but we, we continue, not necessarily daily, but weekly. We have to watch what we spend. We have to make sure that we're budgeting um, our dollars the best that we can. I can't help looking back and thinking, what if I just would have said, we need to change things earlier? Okay. Or you would have said it. Okay, or I so. would, both of us just kept comforting each other and saying it's going to get better. And is that what we're doing right now? One of the enchanting things about not having money and in and, and season one was the fact that there were, were no decisions to be made. I mean, we just had to adjust our lives and, and kind of gather together and, and tackle the whole thing. But now, um, you know, obviously we have a little money from the show, and now there's decisions to be made. If okay, I said, okay so. let's go look at houses, then all I'm doing is f repeating what we did before. Sometimes that causes more stress. So it was a whole new dynamic, I think, for us. We're both getting on the bandwagon saying, yep, things are getting better, and then we're going to go and, and make those same mistakes again. That scares me. The lesson that I've learned is I need to be more vocal. I ended up buying a car and I didn't get my parents' permission or didn't have Todd come. Second notice, this one's a fine. I hope it's not my fine for what? Parking in the street. You can't have your parents like holding your hand all your life and sometime you need to be independent and make your own choices. So I thought I was doing the right thing and I thought they were gonna be proud, but you know, you learn from your mistakes. Rex, you okay? He sounds like there's a chain around his lungs. Had an asthma attack. My asthma was acting up because all the dirt, and um, it got to the point where I needed to go to the hospital. And it was it was, a, a it was horrific. Yeah, I think we should call an ambulance. I'm serious, Todd. It wasn't a good experience. I had to get a shot. <laughs> yes, our son's having an asthma attack. Yes, please. They're on the way. Guys, I don't I don't think we need to take this any further. I'm serious. If we can put the cameras down. Come on, guys.